this is the rain on April the 2nd, 2009. You can see how full the pond is. Uh, it's about eight inches higher than normal. You see the little dark spot. I don't know if I can find it in the viewfinder right there. That's the top of the lights on the water fountain that are normally about eight inches or 12 inches out of the water. And there's the side of the bridge, which the bridge is usually also about eight inches above the water. And the goldfish pond, which as you can see is overflowing well. This is the waterfall, which is not really a waterfall so much anymore as it is the bottom of the fall is underneath the water level. And the rocks. And the rock wall too. This is where most of the overflow come out of the pond. Before we got the drainage opened on the back of the property, the water was about four inches deep right here. It was at the top of those bricks uh, that border the flower bed. And you can see just washed out quite a ditch back there in the back of the storage building. This is where the trouble all started. Drainage off of that field, which is probably 100 acres or more, was coming up to this side of the property and instead of going in the drainage ditch, as you can see it's still doing it a bit, but it was running straight into the pond on that corner. And so there was actually about a six foot wide channel of water right there earlier. We've got it ditched out and diverted running through the drainage ditch on the back of the property now, which has let the pond level come down. This is where all the water was coming in. As you can see we kind of got it moving in the right direction through the drainage ditch across the back. <laughs> 